Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. This time I have a 12 by 12 inch canvas and some wet paper towels <coughs> standing by with points on them. And I will attempt to show you that. And I want some regular white paint. Could be Maiden, could be Artist Loft, whatever. In this case it's Maiden. For the outside portion of my canvas. And then I'm going to put, as a, just as a wet layer on the inside, some of my Anita's White Metallic. That's more Maiden. Scrape, let some of that go off on the edge. That's, that's looking like quite a bit. <clears throat> the more white paint I use in the background, the more I find that it mutes my colors. So I'll just borrow some from that side. Usually I'd like to offset this. I don't know why I'm going in the center. Maybe because it's a real experiment, a real first timer. I'm going to get rid of all that paint on the on my spatula before I throw it in the bucket. Keeps the paint water cleaner longer. And then grab a smaller spatula and some Anita's white metallic. that a quick or fairly quick swipe across. This is my OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatula. If you watch me a lot you know about it. If you don't you ought to know. It is the best paint spreading tool I know of. So check my Amazon link on the link tree below the video and you'll find two different sizes. I recommend both. I like the bigger one usually. So this I'm going to put gold if it's open, and it is, yay. Why don't I go... Do something a little odd. So I want all pinks and reds and oranges. <clears throat> Which is funny because I just put gold down. And now I'll get rid of that. And I'm gonna try and pick my favorites. This is a color shifting orange, red orange, from Folk Art. And that, that's the last of that before I'm going to put some more. I've got my Anita's White Metallic with a little bit of pink in it. I've got what's left of my Hot Orchid. And I've got its replacement, I think it's its replacement, is Pink Diamond, which I adore pretty much as much. They're both awesome, and they're by Color Art, they're Prism Pores. I've got a little bit of Neon Pink. Funny I didn't put any metallics in that, any shimmer. That's from Folk Art. And finish up with, I think, I think I'm going to finish up. We'll see. We'll see if I'm right. Um, this is my purple flash from Folk Art. Now I kind of need something to dip my paper towels into. This is what I've got. They're wet. That one has a paint drop on it. But I want to grab some of my Aussie Floatrol and just try it out. I meant to use a little bit of light orange. And that's why I did that. I'm contemplating taking the break off my turntable and I'm going to I think I'm going to put some of the orange in I didn't put in. Because I can, the same name as my book on the Amazon link. I'm going to use the same Aussie Flow Troll and the same rag again. I'm 
I want to flip it over. I'm not sure that was my most graceful moment, but I think it'll be okay in a minute. I'm going to leave this. I've been leaving these on a silicone sheet, and then I'm going to use them for a collage. I'm pretty sure that that is going to happen. So let's let's try and do this sideways. I got a critter in there. So like I said, I've got a whole boatload. That's a grease catcher that I think I picked up at the local uh, church bazaar, church store. That one didn't work quite as well. I'm going to go back again. I don't think I'm used to them enough to remember to pick them up. I might want to tip that. It's a little tenuous. Wow, it's pretty wild. I'm going to use another one. I have one that has partial paint on it. Because I like those trails. I'm going to steal a little paint and see if I can get away with it. So far, so good. I think it's an acquired skill that I don't have yet. Although I might be getting it. I didn't use any white, and I really want some regular orange in there. <clears throat> or maybe even a little bit more of this. Because I like this. A lot. <laughs> a lot, a lot, a lot. I'm going to put out a little more Floatrol that's not completely wet. Use the other side. I just have to take my time, especially if I'm going to steal some paint. Because I want those little tendrils. I could do probably quite a bit of that with the um, with a skewer. I'm afraid that yellow turns muddy really easily. And I still want to tip it, which is crazy. Well, sort of. Not completely. The water on the paper towel definitely does a number on diluting the black. And I 
like the idea of some spirals in there. I wasn't really intending on doing it with paper towel, but if it works, not that it's working. Take some of that color and put it over the edge. Find my little spaces where... Oh yeah, no, I like that. Where there's no cell activity. Well, very little. Might be too late to tip now that I've done that. That's pretty sweet. I don't mind having a few with the white background. That's kind of neat. I feel like I want something right there. Fake it out. Yep, I'm happy with that. If I had a bunch of those little tiny nib bottles, I'd just go through and put some in afterwards. Yeah, I did. I put some dots in there. I don't think it's going to hurt anything. <clears throat> Maybe a few tendrils. I never did tip. Oh, I still want to tip. That's terrible. Let's fill that in right over there. Like that little space. Any Anywhere that's looking like incomplete or a little gummy, it's the perfect place to put a spiral. There aren't too many places of them left, fortunately. And you don't have to spin it all the way around. You can just start the process like that, and then spin the skewer right in your hand. That one didn't work. Spin. Cool. I'm probably going to be putting a few dots in here for a little while. I think that was kind of fun. I still want to tip see how far it would go. Boy, there's some really fun stuff going on in there. I'm not sure I want to want to change it much. I have it torched and I could. And I think you should expect more dots. Whoa, wrong end. I don't think I mind misshapen spirals, actually. My colors are just wonderful. They're just what I wanted. Probably I'll do another one with them. Some more orange. I'm trying to steal a little more paint, put it right over the edge. Stop fussing. Okay. Thumbs up, please. Share my videos if you're of a mind to. You help my channel survive by giving me a thumbs up, leaving your comments, sharing my video. But mostly, if you watch longer and 
soon after you see that it's available to watch. That's very helpful. What else? My link tree is right below the video, and my link tree will take you to pixels.com and Fine Art America. It will also take you to my Amazon link, where if you shop there, it's at no other cost to you. I did it again. Darn. Wrong end. And if you shop my Amazon link, it helps me out. Helps me buy art supplies and keep making you video tutorials, and I really appreciate that. Anything. You can buy anything on that Amazon link from that Amazon link. I'm not, I'm, I'm more interested in this to tell you the truth. I have a brand new store. It's uh, Society6 and it's on the link tree below the, the gallerist or above it. I'm not sure which. And uh, there's really cool stuff there. Christmas is coming. No matter what time of year it is, it's always coming. So I'm safe. Uh, I love you guys. This is fantastic. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I'm, I fall in love with it. I love the bright colors. I don't even mind that I tilt it a little bit. I don't mind the slightly misshapen stuff. So what else did I not tell you? Thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting. And if you want to be somebody who helps contribute to keep the tutorials rolling in and the art supplies to make them, then if you make a donation through PayPal, the bottom right hand corner of my YouTube channel banner has an icon and there's a link on the link tree, then you will, I'm going to zoom in because you're going to love this. I'm going to move that a little bit. That will get you an automatic invitation to join in the monthly drawing. You can see the prizes for the monthly drawing on the end screen video. The exhibition video is included in the last 20 seconds of every video. Sorry for the sniffing. It's allergy season year round in Florida, so it's something I need to get used to, but I never do. My link tree has Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My email address is below my link tree. My paint pouring recipe is also below show more. When you click show more, you find my email address. If you're interested in uh, information about taking a private class with me, a lesson with me in Spring Hill, Florida, um, please ask <laughs> through using my email. And uh, if you're interested in purchasing an artwork, my email address is also the only way to contact me and we can discuss price and uh, shipping and all that other good stuff if you're interested. My community board is on my YouTube channel. You get there by pressing my avatar or my channel name. You'll find my shop with spring clothing, all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And you'll find my, my playlists, over 2200 videos organized by topic and genre. And if you can't find what you're looking for, ask me. I have it all available and I know right where to find whatever you're after. I did, I thought I started to say my community board had tomorrow's video, but maybe I didn't. Um, my Facebook groups are Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, and that's on the link tree. Questions are encouraged. My Amazon link has my two books on it also because I can and unlimited possibilities. I did say I sold my artwork, so that is by far and away the best possible way to support the studio, and the studio hasn't sold a painting in a little while now, so it would be really, really great time to, to buy somebody an expensive present for Christmas. <laughs> anyway, um, I do torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. Did I do that? I can't remember. <laughs> I love you guys. You encourage me. You inspire me. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm not sure how many more dots I need. I can't believe I didn't use any black. Oh, I did. I used black cell activator. Yeah. Duh. Okay, senior moment. <laughs> I'm admitting nothing. The floppy end of that might be even better than the stiff end. Except for it's not making round dots. I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post seven days a week right now. I don't know how long that'll go on. But it could still go on for a little while longer. I love you. I want you to take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And know that I love you. How many times did I say that? I don't know. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.